In this video, we will be installing an unscrambler attachment on your accumulation table. If your packaging line includes a table to conveyor transfer, then you most likely need to install an unscrambler. An unscrambler sits in the middle of the accumulation table, pushing bottles to the outer edge of the table so that they can be picked up and transferred to the conveyor. The tools you will need are shown here. The unscrambler mounting posts are extensions of the posts already present on the accumulation table. The extensions are asymmetrical pieces. The hole on one side is closer to the end than the hole on the other side. The hole that is closer to the end should be the one that is attached to the mounting post. Use the screws, nuts, and washers included to attach the extensions to the slots in the mounting posts. Attach one side at a time, using a half-inch wrench and socket to tighten the screw. Make sure you're installing the posts opposite one another. Next, loosen and remove the screws and washers on both ends of the unscrambler bar using the half-inch socket. Bring one side of the bar without the screw up to the mounting post. Use your fingers to thread and refasten the screw and washer through the slot and onto the end of the unscrambler bar. Repeat this step for the other side. Once threaded, use the half-inch socket to tighten the end of the bars into place. To adjust the height of the unscrambler bar, begin by adding two of your containers against the blades of the unscrambler. The height of the unscrambler bar can be adjusted by loosening, not removing, the screws holding the post extensions in place using the half-inch wrench and socket. Once loose, you can move the unscrambler bar up and down through the slots, positioning one side at a time as needed. Adjust the height of your unscrambler blades so that they rest against the center of the containers, preventing any tipping or unsteady movement. Once the height has been positioned, use the half-inch wrench and socket to tighten the unscrambler bar in place. The unscrambler and guide rail height adjustment equipment share an adjustment slot. The guide rail cannot be raised too high without the mounting post extensions interfering. This makes the heights of the guide rail and unscrambler dependent on one another. If you want to raise or lower one, you'll likely need to do the same to the other. Keep this in mind as you're adjusting and find the best fit for your container. Loosen the adjustment nuts on the accumulation guide rail using the half-inch socket. Raise or lower the guide rail, depending on the container that will be moving through the accumulation table. Once the guide rail has been adjusted, tighten the adjustment nuts using the half-inch socket. The final step is to adjust the horizontal positioning of the unscrambler blades. To do so, use a 7 16 wrench to loosen, but not remove, the two screws holding the unscrambler blades to the unscrambler bar. This will allow the blades to move back and forth along the bar. One blade of the unscrambler should be positioned horizontally so that it pushes containers to the outside edge of the rotating disc, where they will be picked up by the conveyor guide rail. This blade should push bottles to the outer edge of the rotating disc, but should never completely stop their flow around the table. To finalize this position, add a container to the table against the accumulation guide rail, across from the unscrambler blade. Adjust the blade so that there is approximately a centimeter of space between it and the container. Once the unscrambler blades are in the correct position, tighten the screws to lock the unscrambler in place using the 7 16 wrench. You can now add your containers to the accumulation table and turn it on. If your containers are falling over, you may need to adjust the height of the unscrambler. Please see our other videos for information on how to attach your accumulation table to your conveyor. Here you can see an accumulation table, unscrambler, and conveyor working in tandem to create a seamless product line. 